let's take a look at our top selections. Well, hi, everyone. It's the final weekend of Breeders' Cup preps in California, at least. We have the City of Hope Mile on Saturday at Santa Anita. On Sunday, it's two-year-olds running long on grass, two-year-olds for the juvenile turf and juvenile fillies turf. That would be the Surfer Girl and the Zuma Beach both being run on Sunday. But Saturday is the focus of today's videos. And the first segment will start off with a stakes race that's really of a kind of minor importance. In fact, it's really not all that significant at all. It's the $70,000 swing time stakes. Now, last year, this race was won by Toinette, taking a class drop, and Toinette got a confidence builder in the swing time, and she went on to win a grade two and grade three later in the season. As far as this year's field, I don't see any future graded stakes winners in this lineup. This race could produce a starter or two for the grade two Goldacova that will be run on October 25th at Santa Anita, mile grass race for Phillies and mares in which Raimundo's secret is the early favor at least three weeks out. Let's go ahead and take a look at the lineup for this year's swing time stakes, a field of six, just a good, solid, hard knocking bunch. Cordiality will be among the favorites, so will Colonial Creed and Sedamar. Those are the three that we will be discussing in this segment anyway. There's probably only one throwout in the six-horse field, and that would be number one donut girl, likely to be the longest shot in the field and very difficult to make a case for. But the other five starters, including Muchley and Meal Ticket, well, you can make a case for all five of those, two through five. It's kind of a wide-open scramble. I don't think that the Whoever ends up being the favorite, maybe Cordiality, maybe Colonial Creed, whoever is favored will not be a short price. I'd be surprised to see anything below two to one, maybe even a five to two favorite in this small field. The horse to catch, well, she has to be number four, Cordiality. Cordiality is a seven-year-old veteran pro. She's won 11 races from 32 starts, and it was two starts back down at Del Mar, that cordiality took advantage of a very soft pace to win the Osanita Stakes. Let's take a quick peek at the stretch run of the Osanitas at Del Mar. Two starts back, and she got loose on the lead, cordiality did, 47.08 for the half, three quarters in 110.42, and she rolled on home to win by a length. That's Sedamar chasing her in second. Sedamar would actually tire and finish behind Cordiality. Cordiality, the reason we show this first is because she's probably the horse to catch in this race. She looks like the speed of the field, but she's not exactly a burner up on the front end. If she does make the lead, she's going to be going relatively slow, probably another 46 and change, maybe a 47 half. Not a lot of speed in this six horse field. And Cordiality is certainly the horse to catch. The horse that I like and the horse that at least I picked on top is number five, Colonial Creed. Now she has not started in three and a half months. That's no big deal because trainer Richard Baltus has always been very effective bringing horses back from short layoffs. The problem right now, or the challenge right now is that the Baltus stable is not exactly rolling. In fact, here's a very interesting stat. I was surprised to learn that going into the Friday card, at Santa Anita, Baltus has lost 18 consecutive grass races. That's amazing for a guy who turf racing is his bread and butter. But if Colonial Creed returns to form or if she returns as well as she was when she left, I think she can win this race. She has a forwardly placed running style. She's probably going to be sitting second behind Cordiality, and those two very easily could make it a parade. Now, what about Cor uh, Colonial Creed's most recent start? Well, it was June 14th at Santa Anita, and it was a good solid win by an allowance Philly at this at this point in time. That's Colonial Creed won from the outside, the chestnut wearing the red shadow roll, and that's mucho unusual on her outside excuse me, maximum rate on her outside. And Colonial Creed, ridden this day by Flavian Pratt, perfectly timed ride, another perfectly timed ride by Flavian Pratt. He's still the top jockey in California. Umberto Rispoli is make, giving Pratt a run for his money of late, but Pratt's still the top jockey. He rides Colonial Creed. First start in three and a half months. And as far as the runner-up in this race, that was maximum rate who Colonial Creed held off through the stretch. Maximum rate would come back to win a two other than 
followed by a stakes race, followed by a runner-up finish last weekend in the Rodeo Drive. So the point is, Colonial Creed defeated a very good horse. The, her win in the two other than was validated by runner-up Maxim Rate and Colonial Creed making her first start in three and a half months. I think she's the right horse, the right most likely winner. I'm a little concerned about the Balta stable right now. It's not rolling. Oh, for his last 18 grass races. Okay, another horse that we should at least discuss is number three, Setamar. Setamar misfired last time out, but it was two starts back. Actually, we're going to talk about Setamar's most recent start. Setamar ran well last time out. It was in the Solana Beach down at Del Mar, August 15th at Del Mar. And when we take a look, you talk about a great trip from Setamar. Look at the fence. Down on the inside, Brice Blanc orchestrated a perfect trip with Setamar, saved every inch of ground, came through on the inside, looked like she was going to win the race, but Pulpit Rider on the outside called her right in the shadow of the wire. A perfect trip. A good solid win by a closing filly and talk about a race that was validated. The third place finisher, Mucho Unusual, returned last weekend to go gate to wire in the Rodeo Drive. So Setamar, who lost by a nose, but she finished in front of a next out grade one winner. She's a contender as well. Brice Blanc is on the sidelines. He was injured. Uh, Setamar's jockey will be Tiago Pereira on Saturday. And then the final contender, I think, in this race is down on the bottom meal ticket, who's been transferred from Matt Chu to now making her first start for trainer Jeff Mullins. And she has run races that put her right in the hunt in this minor turf mile stakes race that's likely to produce a runner or two for the Gold Dakota three weeks down the line. Cordiality will make the lead. I like Colonial Creed to try to Help Richie Baltus bust out of the slump. Flavian Prada board. Colonial Creed is my top selection to win the swing time stakes. Race three, Saturday at Santa Anita.